Welcome back for another episode of Does It Work? And on uh, today's episode, we will be testing the famous Flex Seal. Flex Seal. Does it work? Let's take a closer look. And now you may be wondering what Flex Seal is. Flex Seal is a rubberized leak sealer that seeps into cracks and holes and seals them from air and moisture. Flex Seal is long lasting, watertight, paintable, flexible rubber coating that won't sag, drip, crack, or peel. Uh, Flex Seal coats, seals, and protects almost anything. One can of Flex Seal treats 2 to 12 square feet. Now, the commercial for Flex Seal, if you've never seen it, is linked down in the description. So you might want to go ahead and check that out because we'll be slightly recreating some of the things out of the commercial. The best of our abilities. Now for this experiment with Flex Seal, if you haven't watched the commercial, go ahead, watch it, I'm telling you. Because we're now about to test if its flammability. Because in the commercial, they had just a chunk of Flex Seal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of cardboard <clears throat> and we're going to completely spray it front and back with Flex Seal, let it dry, and once it's dried, we are going to try to set it on fire. Wow, okay. <clears throat> it's like really crappy spray paint. <clears throat> Flip it over, and I'm going to hit this back side of it. Now we're going to go ahead and let that dry. I've realized that while doing this, that here on the front it actually says that it is extremely flammable. Now I don't know if that means that, probably can't read that, I don't know if that means once it's dry that it's extremely flammable, or if it's extremely flammable period, but if you watch the commercial they actually attempt to set it on fire and it does not get set on fire. So we'll see if that works. It says on the can that it's extremely flammable. Right down here it says that it's extremely flammable. I don't know if that means when it's like wet that it's extremely flammable. Or whenever it's an air or whenever you're spraying but, it like an aerosol. Exactly. And here's the cardboard covered in flex seal. See how flammable this is. Pretty sure it just caught. No? I'm pretty sure that's just the excess moisture dry burning out. See? It's just the excess moisture steam. I mean, we could try the fully dry side. As I burn my thumb. It Nothing. doesn't appear to. Let me see. I think the cardboard will catch before anything. The card. It may be the cardboard that caught, but. I think that's the cardboard. I would assume so too, but it does seem. Well, look, it's 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 burning, so the inside's hollowing out. And you can see the flex seal on the edges. You see? Flex seal, not burning. Cardboard inside, burn. Flex seal, not. This has a hairline crack in it. You probably can't see it. You could probably just break it. I could probably pull it. Just stick a screwdriver in there. What we're going to try to do is open up this crack a little bit more. There we go. Now we're going to try to repair this with flex seal. That's a pretty even crack. We're going to try to repair this with flex seal as they seen in the commercial. So as you can see, with enough skill and layering abilities, which we lack apparently, you can you can get it to blend in pretty well. And uh, as for um, how well it handles paint, this is common acrylic paint, and I mean, paints right over, picks it right up. How well is the paint applying? Would you say it's applying very smoothly? And then we take something a little bit, it's still a common paint, a little bit more exotic though. We got a uh, gouache and the gouache paint 
It applies just like gouache would. And applies very easily. So, easy to paint. As far as his mending abilities, um... <laughs> it didn't... It didn't mend it at all. It didn't mend it at all, but honestly, if you're just using it to cover up a crack, it would work. All right, and one of the things they do is uh, use a colander and spray it with um, Flex Seal. We're gonna just, AKA a strainer. Strainer. Now let's demonstrate that the strainer works. Let's hold it down a little bit there. You can see that the strainer is straining the water. up an industrial mouth to fill them holes. For our first pass, it's not too bad. Gotta be careful pointing it at us. Mm -hmm. Bubbling out there at the bottom. Looks like it's expanding a little too. Yeah, it does, it does appear to be expanding. I don't know how well you're able to see that. Oh my god, look at my shoes. It is, it is drying extremely quick by the looks of it. I don't know how well that that actually... I, 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 oh no, it's not even remotely dry. <laughs> if not, I go to an art school. I can just be like, they're fashionable like this. It's been well over an hour since we've sprayed this. It looks remotely dry, so now for the water test to find out if Flex Seal will squeeze it slow. Squeeze it slow. That sounds terrible. Well, it it's partially the water runs right off of it though. I think if we got a a thicker coating in there. Got a nice little sludgy mess in there. But for the most part, I think I think if you had enough time for it to dry, like a yeah, few days. If you had a few days for it to dry, then you'd be alright. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Money shot me. So now the question has to be begging. Flex seal. Does it work? What do you think? Personally? For the applications they showed, and actually how it actually held up pretty well against the water in some spots, I think I think most of the stuff they showed was doable. I believe Flex Seal, for the most part, except for drying quickly, does work. Yeah, that is one thing. On on the can of Flex Seal, it does not at all state an estimated dry time. You get a pretty picture, but you don't get an estimated dry time. <clears throat> I think this may have possibly worked a little bit better had we had a different type of strainer. Uh, obviously we didn't have a boat and a screen door. Uh, if you'd like to donate a boat and a screen door, we were more than willing to retest this product only with the boat and screen door. And you can be on and help us do that for sake. You also want to donate to buy 57 cans of Flex Seal that it'll take to do the screen door in the boat. We will do that with your help. Now, as far as the, the pot goes here, if you want to make your mom a late Mother's Day present, then this, <clears throat> you want to flex seal it to give you that cool blackness to it, paint you some color on there, then that might be a good idea. Now, what do you got to say about this? I really think it was the cardboard more than anything burning. Um, whenever it was burning, it seemed like the flames were coming from the middle and oh, it had this black residue on the outside, which I'm pretty sure was the... Flex seal. Yeah. Now, I, I believe that he is correct. I, I don't think the flex seal, even though it does on here say that it is extremely flammable, but I'm assuming that is coming out of the can, the aerosol aspect to it is extremely flammable. Within the parameters, though, putting the flame directly against the broad side of it, where we didn't have exposed cardboard, it held up to the heat. We didn't exactly have a blowtorch because 
Well, we do have a blowtorch, it's just that for safety reasons, we prefer me not to be wielding a blowtorch. Yes, absolutely, for liability reasons. Uh, another thing that I did notice on the back here of Flex Seal, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects and other reproductive harm. I think personally that sh this little tiny text said that should be a a lot bigger on the can itself. I don't know if that has to come in contact with your genitals. I don't know if someone's spraying that as lubrication or whatever it may be, but that is a huge thing that uh, concerned me after getting it on me and then finding out way afterwards. Yeah, um, it gets on your hands quite easily and after reading that, it's recommended not to touch yourself in an adult manner after using Flex Seal. You may want to use gloves when uh, using Flex Seal or a toy. So Flex Seal, does it work? I would say yes, conditionally. It has its uses, but it's extremely messy and it has one of the worst odors I've ever smelled. I think depending on your situation, especially for gutters and stuff like that, I think it would work very well. Paint's easy. I mean, just it's just all in the application and management of it. And you gotta have a lot of time to let it dry because there is no estimated dry time on here, so you just gotta kinda have a lot of time to let it dry. If there's any other products that you would like to know, does it work? Then let us know, leave a comment, send us a message, and if you can link us to the commercial, we are more than willing to test out said product just for you. Let us spend our money and let us waste our time and not let you do that. This is all for you. So now we got like three-fourths of a can of Flex Seal for no reason. Thanks for joining us. Later.